Hello everyone, I am Julian Morris with the Channel 5 News. In the headlines, Gregory Caressa Revere pledges to restore Margot to prominence under the Libo government. Prime Minister Skerry challenges Margot residents to consider who is best qualified to represent them in government. And optimism in the DLP over a possible upset in Salisbury in 2020. The details coming up. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. Flo helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. First up in the news, Labour Party candidate for Marigot Gregory Revere has used his launching over the weekend to map out his vision for the development of the constituency should he win the 2020 general election. Revere says he plans on restoring agriculture to its rightful place in the community. Agriculture should return to its rightful place here in this constituency. I will work with the farmers group, another individual, to increase their yield by using modern agricultural techniques such as greenhouse farming and hydroponics. We will work with small farmers like Gibbs and Gunn to expand their poultry and pig farms respectively. Meanwhile, we will ensure the culture of backyard farming return to this community. Ladies and gentlemen, someone alluded earlier that there was a video circulating about the amount of yams and cucumber being sold or being exported right here from Marigot, ladies and gentlemen. What I want is for more Marigot people to be involved in the production, ladies and gentlemen, because it appears that we do not have a problem with markets, we have a problem with production, ladies and gentlemen. Marigot people should not be going to town to buy sai and cucumber and a piece of pumpkin. No way, ladies and gentlemen, those days will be done under Gregory. He says he also plans on prioritizing support for hucksters and bringing back agriculture into the schools. I will push for policy to mandate the teaching and practice of agriculture at all our schools because I believe that agriculture has fed us. Agriculture sent us to school. Agriculture gave us our independence. So we must go back to the soil, ladies and gentlemen. With this in mind, we will see an increase in trade between this constituency and our neighboring French territory. On this regard, ladies and gentlemen, in three months, and I say three months, after being elected, I will ensure that this Marigot Fisheries Complex becomes an official port of entry, ladies and gentlemen. Rivi also pledges to make significant inroads in the area of housing and sanitation. I will build on government's policy to ensure, and I will say to ensure, that pit toilet will be a thing of the past, ladies and gentlemen, in Marigot. So go tell Lennox, and I'm talking about Lennox Honey Church, to come quick and write the history 
because pit toilet will be totally eradicated within six months of me being elected in parliament, ladies and gentlemen. Furthermore, furthermore, I will take at least one year to ensure that every tarpaulin in Marugot totally disappears. I will work with the Prime Minister to provide decent and affordable housing to those in need. Government lands will also be made available to young people and young professionals who have the capacity to build so that they can own their own homes. I will work with the Melvin Hall Improvement Committee to regularize their plots so you, the residents, can own your own land paper and you can take it to the credit union as security, ladies and gentlemen. A direct appeal from Gregory Vere to the people of Marigot to support his candidacy in the 2020 general election. During his launching in Marigot on Sunday, Mr. Revere said this. I need your support, but most of all, ladies and gentlemen, I need your vote. I need your vote in order to work in your interests and save you from distress. I need your vote while I still have the strength, the vim and the vigor. I need your vote so I could deliver. Marigot, Marigot needs a working man. And I, Frederick Caressa Rivier, I am red, 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 ready. To assume that position. We worked together, we played together, we supported each other in the past, so we can do it again for the love of this constituency. At times, Revere sounded very much like the four-time Calypso monarch many have come to love and, and admire. It seemed to resonate. I am not joining Honorable Skerritt to sip champagne, eat Oreo cookies, or drink iced tea. I am joining him to work on your behalf. He has given me the commitment to work together and I trust him. So when all they can tell you is Caressa Singh Calypso against the Dominica Labour Party. I want you to remind them of songs like Rise Up and Walk. I want you to remind them of songs like I Feel Your Pain. Remind them of Defend Whitey Kubuli. Remind them of Afu Me, Afu You, Afu Alawi. But I also want you to remind them that we go see. Because on election day, when the last ballot is counted, we go see in St. Joe. We go see in Wesley. We go see the entire East. We go see all the roses. And right here in Marigot, we go see that Ian Dog will not be loved. Riviere made the point that all Marigot people really need is responsible representation. I met a young man from Marigot. He told me that he wanted to go and study. But Mr. Scary don't like Marigot people. So he not getting assistance. I did not take his word, ladies and gentlemen. I took his application and seven other applications. And I went to the Honorable Skerritt. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Skerritt did not question to which political party they belong. He did not question the surnames of the individuals, ladies and gentlemen. All he needed to know was whether they met the academic requirements. And ladies and gentlemen, with a stroke of a pen, those eight young people, ladies and gentlemen, have gotten the assistance to go and study. He also made this appeal to unite the constituency around his campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, in recent time, the people has observed a significant decline in community spirit. We've seen seeds of division, hatred cultivated among us in the name of politics. More so, 
we have seen the total absence of he who was entrusted with the role of parliamentary representative. So today, I humbly accept the call to be the next parliamentary representative of the Marida constituency. My friends, if the critics question your support of me, don't hesitate to tell them, I know Greg. Me know Uche party come out. Let them know there are brighter days because of Greg with it. When you're looking for someone to hear you out, a Greg with it. When you're looking for a roof and things are tight, a Greg with it. Yes, pick me a ball, pick it without sal, a Greg with it. And if your parliamentary representative has taken a permanent vacation and this constituency needs urgent attention, please give him the information that next general election, he will be removed from that position and make way for true and honest representation because of gravity. In other news, the Minister for Trade, Ian Douglas, is optimistic the Dominican Labour Party could win this Salisbury seat. Salisbury, similar to Marigot, is a United Workers' Party stronghold where the DLP hasn't realized success in several years. The Labour Party launched its candidate for the Marigot constituency on Sunday, who the party believes will cause an upset in that area. Trade Minister and Portsmouth MP Ian Douglas says the party holds a high level of confidence in its Salisbury candidate, Nicholas Shanks Esprit, who he believes will capture the seat for the DLP. Since um, um, Hurricane Maria, he has literally taken the seat. He's really the de facto parliamentary representative in the Salisbury constituency. If you go down to Salisbury now and you speak to anybody in Salisbury across the political spectrum, they'll tell you that um, our candidate is really the person that has really made things happen um, in, 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 in the Salisbury constituency. Um, Nicholas Esprit is in fact way ahead. I mean, I mean, there's no comparison. And I can tell you that, that he will certainly win that seat. I'm telling you, you know, we feel very confident about um, our candidate in the Salisbury constituency. Douglas is of the view that poor representation on the part of the current Salisbury MP will lead to a change in the next general election. Winning 21 seats is not, is not far-fetched for us. I mean, in 1980, the Dominica Freedom Party won, won 17 seats, and there were two independent candidates, one in the Pebush constituency and one in the Grand Four constituency, who, in fact... Um, gave tacit support to the Freedom Party. So you could, in essence, say that they won 19 seats. The only seats won by the Dem Democratic Labour Party, a split from the Patrician Labour Party at the time, was the Postman constituency and the Salibay constituency. So, but that is why when we study the, the, the electoral results throughout the years, we feel very confident that um, we could win all 21 seats. And access to the communities of uh, Depart who pitted Sufre during times of heavy rain continues to be of concern for the Castle Bruce MP. The Caribbean is experiencing the third of the six-month-long hurricane season, which runs from June to November. Heavy rainfall is expected throughout this time with trough systems, tropical waves and cyclones. Member of Parliament for the Castle Bruce constituency, Johnson Drago, says one of his biggest concerns at this time is access to all communities in his constituency when there is heavy rainfall. The biggest concern for us is our communities from deeper to um, Minnesota. When it's really heavy, they get cut off because um, there's no control we have over the river and we have to wait until the water subsides and then we can move again. Apart from access to all communities, the topography of Casabra's community results in the loss of livestock during periods of heavy rain, something which residents have had to come to terms with. Concern of flooding for us is more for farm animals um, since we have two major rivers coming into Casabra's, which is the McLean River and the Belfi River through Live Law. Live Law. So these three rivers, McLean, as a matter of four rivers, McLean, Romuston, Live Yellow, and the Belfi River, when they meet together as one river, it's really something else. 
So you find on the flat in Casabos, we have lots of flooding in this area, but um, our grandparents were very smart. Nobody built in that area home, living homes in that area. So we always lose a lot of animals um, when there is heavy rain because the entire flat of the stretch, what you call the stretch area in Casabos, becomes one river when it's raining heavy and, and so on. You are watching Channel 5 News. We'll have more after this. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Si ni maladi HIV e de maladi sexual. Si ou pa protege ko law kan e sex ek plizye moun. Sakay mete la vi ou ak wo danje. Ou ka expose tout patna ou prezan e de tan ki ka vini ek maladi a. Seve yo kondom chak fwa ou kan e sex. Chanje ki i epotan pou dekouve maladi a pou nen. Ou sa viv ak bon santi menm si ou ni maladi HIV. Pwen responsabilite proteje ko ou e pi li zot. Examine ko ou. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue, and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited Flo local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With Flow, it only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. The Labour Party candidate for Marigot has made his case to represent his people as parliamentary representative by pushing back on statements by critics that he is merely a Calypsonian. Rivier said contrary to the narrative being peddled by his political opponents, he has a proven track record of performance among the people he is vying to represent in government. In recent times, I heard a clipping on the radio indicating that Prime Minister Skerritt only sent a Calypsonian to represent the people of Maragall. If this individual only paid attention to what goes on in Marigot. He would have known that this gentleman who is speaking about has a proven track record of performance in this constituency. When I was offering service to the Marigot Scout Troop with people like this is Akila, Maureen and Hilroy Thomas, where were you? When I served as deputy director of Legato Music School with people like Tyson Johnson, Elvin Williams, and Zeppelin Hamlet, where were you? Yes, when I worked with people like Stuart Paris to establish the Marriott Management Environmental Management Committee and introduce KIP system to Marriott, where were you? Oh, yes. When I work with people like Gwenka and Sandra to promote cultural dances and Kokoi music, taking the Kokoi music to cultural Ghana for over 15 years, where were you? Oh yes. When, where were you? When I served as volunteer of the Marigot Cooperative Credit Union for over 20 years, serving on board of directors, credit committee, with people like your favorite Granville.
revoke Agatha Telemark and Revilla St. Rose. Where were you, my brother? And you call me a mere Calypsonian. But I want you to know that this Calypsonian collaborated with regional and international agencies as well as the Marugat Village Council to ensure that the people of Marugat and Concord receive relief after Maria in the forms of tapolin, generators, clothing, foodstuff, and counseling, ladies and gentlemen. So man, don't look for my job. I therefore challenge my competitor to present his accomplishment on behalf of the Marugat people for the last five years because all which I mentioned earlier was done in less than five months, ladies and gentlemen. So we are asking him at this time to please present your report card so the people of Marigot can determine whether you deserve another chance. And I will tell you something. I say to you, you should stop this nonsense about trying to destroy the CBI. Listen well. CBI money will build Maribot Hospital. CBI money constructing houses all over Dominica. CBI building hotels, building bridges, repairing roads, ladies and gentlemen. CBI assisting the needy. If I were in your place, knowing that there was a million, billion dollars somewhere, I would be fighting to get married a check. I'm not spending time in parliament doing some kind of abracadabra mathematics. And Prime Minister and the political leader of the Dominican Labour Party has challenged the people of Marigot to seriously consider the question of which candidate is best qualified to represent them in Parliament. Gregory Vier, who was launched on Sunday, will seek to bring the Marigot seat home to Labour by unseating opposition leader Lennox Linton. Addressing the gathering at the Marigot Fisheries Complex Sunday night, the Prime Minister said Revere was more than qualified for the job. Gregory Revier holds a Master of Public Administration degree, as well as a Master of Management degree, both from the University of Canberra in Australia. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Management Studies from the University of the West Indies. Additionally, he holds a Certificate in Youth Work from the Commonwealth Youth Program. He completed a Working with Adolescents course with the University of the West Indies, a multidisciplinary leadership course from the Youth Division here in Dominica and a course in music theory from the Associated Board of the Royal School of Music. As most of you would be aware, he attended the St. Andrews High School from which he graduated with quite a few CXC subjects. From his many years of study and other training, he has garnered and gained immense knowledge and is equipped and proficient in several disciplines, including, but not limited to, economics for, management, for managers, micro and macro, human resource management, industrial relations, public administration, managing government finance, organizational behavior, strategic management, managing change and innovation, marketing, public policy, advanced policy analysis, leadership in contemporary organizations, research methods, management ethics, and special topics in business and government. And yet still they say that he is only a Calypsonian.
Mr. Skerritt had this to say about the man whom Mr. Revere is seeking to unseat. But there is another gentleman now roaming the streets of Marigot for the very first time saying to the people of Marigot, oh, Carousel would only be a pal rep, vote for me and I would be a prime minister. Mr. Skerritt says one does not enter politics to become prime minister but to serve the people who elected him. I shared with you this evening the educational, professional, and community service background of Gregory Carissa Rivera. I want each of you to leave here this evening and go and research the educational, professional, and community service background of Mr. Lennox Linton. Check out his qualifications for the job he seeks. What are your views on the minimum eligibility requirements for the job Mr. Linton says he wants? You are the employer of the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica. What qualities would you like in a Prime Minister? What type of work experience would you like your Prime Minister to have? What do you think should be a Prime Minister's minimum educational background? And if a person is coming back to you after five years in your employ, it is incumbent upon you to examine the performance record in the job. And a Dominica teacher is among two Eastern Caribbean nationals to benefit from the prestigious Fulbright program. The Fulbright program is one of several United States cultural exchange programs. The goal is to improve intercultural relations, cultural diplomacy, and intercultural competence between the people of the United States and other countries. The Fulbright program is one of the most prestigious and competitive fellowship programs in the world. Dominica Natrice Francis is a graduate teacher in the Special Education Unit of the Ministry of Education and will undertake an MSL in Special Education at Northern Illinois University. The other recipient is Barbadian Matthew St. Bernard, who will undertake a master's degree in public service and administration public policy analysis at Texas A&M University. The two Fulbright Foreign Student Scholarship recipients will pursue their respective programs for the 2019-2020 academic year. This flagship international educational program is sponsored by the United States government and allows graduate students, young professionals and artists from abroad to research and study in the United States for a year or longer. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flow. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. To end the news, a look again at the headlines. Gregory Caressa Revere pledges to restore Marigot to prominence under a Labour government. Prime Minister Skerritt challenges Marigot residents to consider who is best qualified to represent them in government. 
and optimism within the DLP over a possible upset in Salisbury in 2020. Feel free to contact us at news at mapping2k4.com. You may access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production team, I am Julian Morris. Thank you for watching. Join us tomorrow.